Hello, my name is Sanjay Gangadhara, and I'm the director of ZMAX Development. Today I'll be showing you a feature now available in ZMAX 13 Release 2, the Material Scatter Library. Surface scattering from optical components can be very important in the design of both imaging and illumination systems. Scattered light can contribute unwanted noise in the form of stray light, but may also be a desired effect, such as when diffu using a diffuser to produce uniform output. Analytic models are often used to describe surface scattering in an optical design program. Such models can be useful in that they provide physical insight behind the mechanisms responsible for scattering. However, in most cases, these models really only approximate the scattering behavior. Systems whose performance is sensitive to or depend on the precise scattering distribution may not be accurately designed using these approximations. The most accurate way to characterize scattering in your design is to use measured data. A catalog of scatter data obtained using the Radiant ZMAX ISSA device is now available in ZMAX 13 Release 2. The scatter catalog provided with ZMAX currently contains over 85 samples from a wide range of suppliers and covering a wide range of materials. All of the scatter data files that are in the catalog may be used directly in ZMAX. Let's take a look at how. In ZMAX, the scatter catalog may be accessed under the Tools Scatter menu. The list of data files may be sorted by supplier, as well as by the type of lamp used to illuminate the sample when measured with the ISSA device. A list of available data files may then be viewed under the File menu. For each file, summary information about the sample is listed in the dialog, such as the measurement type, i.e. whether scattering was measured in reflection, transmission, or both, and the measurement symmetry, i.e. whether scattering from the sample is isotropic or anisotropic. Once a particular file has been selected, it may be downloaded onto your machine by selecting the Download Scatter File button. The file will be downloaded to the Scatter Data folder of your ZMAX data folder. The ZMAX data folder for your machine may be found under the File Preferences menu. If you want to be sure that you have an up-to-date catalog of data, you can select the Download Scatter Catalog button to update the catalog with the latest information. If you cannot find a material in the catalog which meets your needs, but have physical access to material in question, you may select the Request Measurements button. This will take you to our website, where you can fill out an order form to have a measurement of your physical sample made by Radiant ZMAX. Once you've downloaded a scatter data file, that file may be used directly in ZMAX to model the scatter distribution from a surface. Consider this simple example of scattering from a planar mirror. Under the Coat Scatter tab for this object, the IS Scatter Catalog model is selected. The catalog file we wish to use for describing scattering is then selected. For this particular case, we only need to select a file for the reflection profile since rays will not scatter in transmission through the mirror. We next select whether data from the front or back of the sample should be used to characterize scattering from the mirror. And finally, we specify the angular resolution with which data should be read from the file. Current options are 5, 2, and 1 degree for this resolution, with the value controlling the resolution in both the polar and azimuthal directions. Once the model has been selected, it may take time to read the data into ZMAX. However, once the data has been read in, ray tracing proceeds as quickly with this model as, with any, as within any analytic scatter model. And the results are the most accurate that you can get. This ability to have an accurate model of scattering in your optical design is now available in ZMAX 13 Release 2.